Lactazil has been in business since 1993. We're the only true palladium play in the world and one of only two palladium mines in the world. Palladium is used for catalytic converters in automobiles. 75% of the globe's palladium goes into catalytic converters. We're about a 6,000 ton a day mine right now and uh, we've got a life of mine that will push us out about nine and a half years. In the precious metal space, it's very unique in terms of the fact that it's a very large vertical ore body that's quite amenable to mass mining approaches. We've uh, gone through a fundamental mining method change. We're now using a version of sublevel cave mining, uh, and we converted a, a blast hole mine to a sublevel cave, which has only been done a few times around the world. So that's been a fundamental change. It's allowed for a much more consistent production rate. Our plan is to get this mine close to 12,000 tons a day from underground, uh, which is a significant underground mine. We believe that we'll be uh, very close to being in the $29 a ton range. That's our target uh, and that's what we're pursuing and, and we believe technology is going to be key to getting there. Uh, and now our next step is to really look at uh, applying technology to make it uh, much better than I think than anybody ever envisioned it could be. And that's the path that we're on right now. The way we've looked at technology is really in supporting process improvements rather than the other way around and saying the technology is going to give me a 10 times return. We're saying, okay, this process improvement has the potential. What technology do we need to support that? The recent LHD installation for us is really about planning for the future and automation is the way the industry is going. So this has let us test it in an environment where we can, we can prove that it's successful and plan for the expansion as, uh, as we plan our life of mine around automation and uh, improving the safety of the workforce and improving the productivity of our equipment as well. We set it up in not an easy place. It's a tough mucking environment and we wanted to see what the capabilities were of this unit. So we set it up in a, a long tram, lots of corners, and uh, we knew that an operator on a 12-hour shift when he traveled underground could, could achieve 30 buckets. We've seen uh, 50 buckets out, out of that same stope to allow that operator to sit on surface. And that's a fantastic improvement. Uh, 1,600 tons of material out of that stope in a 24-hour period, which is probably over double what we would normally get. We were confident that we would hit 1,000. The forecast was 500 at the time. We were hitting targets that we'd never seen before out of that level. We started commissioning inside of 60 days. Commissioning took about another week, and then uh, we had two weeks on the demo and, and then made the decision to purchase. I, I saw the value in buying it before we even hit the end of the uh, two-week period. The automation has come in as we progressively move forward as the logical next step to start grabbing those couple of hours every shift that is now lost with people changes, equipment movement, uh, blasting times, etc. To be able to muck in between shifts and keep those machines going, it doesn't take very many uh, trucks and buckets before this thing pays for itself very, very easily. If I can get three truckloads in between those shifts, this thing will pay for itself within months. The beauty of our ore body is it's very gradational. So we have a lot of lower grade uh, resource that if we can get that mining cost down, uh, that becomes part of our reserve and we can increase how much we mine on a daily basis, but how long we're gonna mine as well. Uh, because it's, it is quite a, a large tonnage resource. We're looking at applying that automation technology to make some of those lower grade reserves uh, profitable for us. We're already seeing some benefits because we are uh, moving more material from the location that we put the one uh, autonomous LHD in. And now our goal is to, to uh, figure out how to apply that on a broader scale. 